Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. So today we are working with my two My Melody dies that I have in my craft room. And I've told you guys uh, in a previous video, sometimes these dies are, you know, very PC. So I figure, let me cut these out and we can attempt to assemble these <laughs> together because they're all very tiny, tiny pieces. Um, so yeah, if you guys have these dies, let's pull them out. Let's make them together. Uh, this one I'm cutting out of three colors. And um, yeah, we're gonna attempt to make them look like cookies. So here's the outline. And it's very hard <laughs> to not lose these itty bitty pieces. And I'm hoping it will come out. There we go. A very thin line um, with this die. I think I have cut this out before. Whoops. And I think I gifted them to Jenny. Um, so in an attempt to show you what it looks like, there's so many pieces. Let me see if I can get it up here. There we go. So there, that's what it looks like all cut out. All these little pieces can be interchanged with another fully cut um, die. So just remember if you are attempting to do this, you want to make sure that all the little pieces are pushed out because you don't want to lose a thing. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this one one more time. I have the two different poses. I still cannot find my Hello Kitty die. The one, the one that looks like a Starbucks die. <laughs> so, <sighs> we'll see. Whoops. So I'm really doing this for my swap girls, the ladies who join the swap. And um, I know they don't need my example. <laughs> I just want to share and craft along with them because uh, like them, I was very excited about this, um, about this swap. So, oh, whoops, there goes the, there goes my cutting mat. So very tiny pieces and you just gotta, there we go, take your time. And be gentle as much as I can be. And I know I can hear, I can hear some of you ladies, get the wax paper. <laughs> yes, I know, but I'm very lazy. So suffer along with me. <laughs> Just... There we go. So we got that all cleaned out. And then this one is the other pose. She's sitting. She's in a sitting position. And there. Yeah, that one came out nice. This is the one that looks like she's showing the bird, you know. <laughs> Let me find my little piece. I'm going to cut this one and then I will go off camera and finish cutting everything and then come back and show you what I want to do to uh, assemble all of this. Okay, so I will, I'll be back after I get this all out. All right, so I'm back, and here are the 10 million pieces that are going to make 
two. <laughs> two of each character. So I cut this one. This one's holding a mirror. And then this one has a little bird. So we're going to see what we come up with. But I think I'm going to piece them on some brown cardstock. It's not even cardstock, it's like craft paper. It's really flimsy, but we'll see what we can get out of this and if it's a fail or you know hit or miss, we'll see. So I'm gonna put you on, um, actually I'm gonna put you on time lapse. So yeah, Thank you. I'll be back. All right guys, so this is the first one. That took quite a bit of time and you can see here, since the outline is very thin, you have to like make sure you you get that, that piece lined up correctly, but I didn't realize that till it was already dried. So yeah, that's what we got. And then all I'm gonna do is get my Sharpie marker and color the eyes in. I don't know if I was even in frame, guys. I'm so sorry. But I have all these little tiny pieces that I have to work with. And it's like, I need it way close to me so I can see what, where those pieces are. And the other um, example Jenny shared was to um, color it in, just like I'm going to color the eyes in. If you do it on a white... Um, let me see my, there we go. It was out of, and just use your Ohuhu markers or uh, whatever you have, alcohol markers. And just color them in. Um, yeah, and you just cut it out however many different colors you want to use, like you want your bird a different color you just have to have the different color cardstock or you could like I said use your markers so there's the eyes I don't know there's like a there's like a little indent on my paper um, probably from my die cutting machine so now I'm going to fussy cut around her and make her look like a cookie Think that would be so sweet everyone is going crazy with the cookie dies that are the Christmas cookie dies I don't know if it's chaos crafts or whatever but I'm seeing it all over social media and you can see here it's not perfect and that's okay with me I'm seeing you know, cookies are not all perfect. <laughs> but I just wanted to make some little cookies out of these characters. Um, I really still haven't used my Cricut. Um, Cricut Air is what I have. Um, for paper piecing like this. I've used it mainly for flat embellishment and 3D projects, but not paper piecing. Like, this is what I consider paper piecing, so, yeah. All right. One of these days, I'll figure that out. But there is our cookie. I think she is cute and I think I I think I just really like her just like that um, I outlined her with the red I used the pink for her color and then her bow I just kept it white 
since those are the three colors that I used. So I'm gonna do the rest off camera because it takes up a lot of space, a lot of time. And then I will come back and show what I put together. All right, see you at the end. Okay guys, I'm back. So <laughs> you can see the leftover mess. This is one that I was working on. I don't know if I like the color combination, but a lot of these pieces are still usable. I just want to show you what I put together. So this is what they came out looking like. Look at how cute. There's her, her with her little middle finger. <laughs> She's not really, it's just her finger. So here's the other two that I did. And I thought those were super cute. Um, so yeah, in combination with our Cricut die cuts i mean they're pretty much the same size and they look really cute um use with the combination with our shrinky dinks look at how cute they came out so cute okay so i just have to tell you this one i put the glossy um mod podge and I got this one from Dollar Tree a while ago, but it you could see the streaking, streakiness. Oops. So I didn't like that, and um, it's still very usable, but I'm not gonna use that. These are um, I added the glossy accents, and I like the glossy accents better. I'm sorry for the noise, but. The downfall with the glossy accents, and it does this also when you print on paper. If you put glossy accents on your inkjet prints, they bleed. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know what I could use. This one came out nice. It it didn't it didn't bleed as much, and I think it's mostly the reds the reds and the black because you can see you can see how it bled onto the white so yeah i don't know it's a hit or miss with me i do love them they are dry now and they're you could touch them so the only problem is you know it's been a while since i played with this it's also been a while since i've used glossy accents so you can see a lot of bubbles there's a lot of imperfections, but guys, we are in the handmade business. <laughs> so that is what I have. Um, I also had these die cuts in my stash and I was wondering if I could use, use some of these. Well, maybe if I print these out in a smaller size, like just shrink them, I think they would be super cute. You can also put them, oh, <laughs> you can also use them with the um, shrinking. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. So yeah, no finished projects really. Just um, working on making some embellishment pieces. So now I'm going to be focusing on um, the items need that I need to make for the swap. Uh, most likely, I'm going to ditch all these pieces. <laughs> Although it was fun, it did take some time to put together. I mean, you could keep all of these. Look at that. Keep the outlines. Even this one. I mean, I don't know. I just need to move them off to the side and move on to my next project, um, which will be making the... Um, one of the requirements is a rosette wand, a banner, or a uh, uh, pennant flag. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. And uh, while you're at it, hit that notification bell, subscribe, join our crafty family. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.